What is Brian Flores doing at Clemson for Lawrence's personal pro day? Today isn't just any regular Friday, especially in an NFL offseason that doesn't offer the standard operations and features. Today just so happens to be the personal pro day of the presumed number one overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, Clemson quarterback Trevor Lawrence. And while we can all safely assume that Lawrence really only needs one team to be in attendance, the Jacksonville Jaguars, who own the number one pick, there will be a strong representation of teams in the top 10 on campus today, presumably for due diligence. The Miami Dolphins will be among those teams. What else could the Dolphins be doing at Clemson for Lawrence's personal pro day other than due diligence? Will they lock on Lawrence? There is no Travis Etienne Jr. in attendance and presumably no Amari Rogers, either. Sports Illustrated's Albert Breer outlined the players Lawrence will be throwing to in the build-up to today's event. Lawrence's throwing group is, to be sure, a bit eclectic. Just one of his receivers was on Clemson's roster last year, that's Cornell Powell, a likely day three pick who came on late last year with 45 catches for 825 yards and seven touchdowns over the Tigers' last eight games. Sharon Peak, an ex-Jet and Jaguar, now playing in Canada, who was at Clemson during the Deshaun Watson era, will also be there to run routes, as will ex-Notre Dame receiver Chris Fink, who was on the Niners' practice squad for part of this year. It is safe to assume that Miami, with their need at wide receiver, will at least be side-eyeing 2021 prospect Cornell Powell at receiver throughout the session as well. Powell is a big-bodied receiver who would offer the Dolphins a potential special teams option if they want to continue to turn over some of the players in the receiver room from top to bottom. But other than checking in on Powell, consider this a formality for the Dolphins. Jacksonville isn't expected to make the, n make the number one pick available. And even if the Jaguars were to go off the reservation and draft someone not named Lawrence, the New York Jets still linger between the number one pick and Miami's first selection at number three.